Welcome to the Adhocracy Show. On today's show... What is the Ad Council? What do they do? How do they do it? We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landin, and welcome to the Adhocracy Show, where we geek out about advertising, marketing, art, and design. And today's topic covers basically all of that. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to delve into something that we've all experienced and we all know a little bit about. We, we've had some pretty geeky, nerdy uh, episodes in the past few weeks. What are you talking about? The cola phone? That wasn't <laughs> geeky at all. That was like prime news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe if you were in China in the first century. <laughs> that was a good joke. Thanks. Um, but today we're going a little bit more mainstream. Mm -hmm. You may not feel this mainstream, but you probably know more about this than you think. Today we're going to be talking about the Ad Council. Now, what is the Ad Council? What do they do? We're going to get into that. So let's start off with a little history. In 1941, someone came up with an idea for the Ding. Ad Council, which would be an uh, agency that would help run public ads for things that were important. Right. But then... Japan and Germany got in the way, and a little thing called World War II started. Uh, yeah. uh, well, not necessarily started, but, you know, they came and got us, the U.S. involved. Um, and we kind of had to put a hold on that. They actually changed the name of the Ad Council to the Advertising War Council. Okay. And their first, like, big uh, mission was to create ads to sell war bonds. Well, and you need those war bonds, right? Apparently. <laughs> That's why and they created Captain America. If you're not familiar with the name The Ad Council, you are definitely familiar with their work. They're responsible for creating characters like Smokey the Bear. Who is now known as Smokey Bear. <laughs> they took out the the. He's no longer similar to Frosty the Snowman. They know they don't have the same middle name anymore. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, they created uh, McGruff the Crime Dog. Who is now not known as McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> Maybe he is. I don't know. I haven't seen anything about him. I haven't either. So. Uh, the crying, crying Indian campaign, we, and we covered that. Yeah. We did. We yeah. talked about that. And uh, Vincent Larry, the crash tense dummies. If you remember them, I mean, there was a cartoon that came off of that, and, and video merchandising game. and video games. Video game, and yeah. I mean, that thing went crazy. Yeah. Um, that uh, told you to buckle up, and do, um, they actually even claimed to have created Rosie the Riveter, so. which was with uh, Norm. What's his name? I don't know. Saturday, Saturday Evening Post. Oh, Norm Rockwell. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Well. Um, but what is the Ad Council? Good I, question. Well, <laughs> I went to what's known as the internet. Oh. They have this thing called a website, and I went there, and they had this thing, and it said, what is the Ad Council? Oh, okay. So they answered so, it for you. What did they say? They said uh, that they are the largest producer of public service advertising. They represent a unique collaboration between the advertising media and business communities, the leading advertising agencies from throughout the country lend them their best and brightest talent to develop their campaigns pro bono. That means for free. And <laughs> the media industry gen generously donates the advertising time and space to deliver their messages to the American public. Interesting. So basically, there are program, uh, they are a program that tries uh, to find issues that need recognition and then tries to find companies to do... Okay. Recognition? Recognition. 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 It needs to be recognized. Either way. Um, and then they try to find the company that, to actually do it for them for free. Which, you know what? Like, if, if any of those companies watch our show, they'll, they know you don't do it for free. All right? You don't work for free. Well, this is for pro bono. It's pro bono. Not this, this, is, this is for the good of yeah. humanity. humanity. Yeah. So maybe we're wrong. Well, you know, there's times where you do it for free. There's a uh, chart out there. I'll, we'll post that somewhere. Um, but each of their campaigns that they work on, they actually go through a nine-month process. Um, they're usually working on about 50 campaigns at one time, and they have about 20 to 30 million in donated media per year. Um, once the ads are completed, uh, they need to find media outlets for their ads to air them. Uh, so for free or pro bono again. Yeah, you guys are learning new words today. Pro bono. Uh, the media donates actually 1.5 billion uh, to the Ad Council campaigns. Which, Which, how do they come up with that number? That's what I want to, like, donating 1.5 billion, like... Well, an ad, like an ad... So they just, like, say, well, we would normally make you pay this much, right. but... You know, an ad costs this much on it for a 30-second commercial on air. 
or it costs more at peak times. Mm. Um, radio commercials, any you know, billboards, any of that has a certain cost attributed. But what's to it. interesting, I wonder. You have to wonder because with the ad council gaining so much momentum and being so popular, and like, because their ads are really good. Yeah. Well, they, they've because, kind of gained a popularity because you, they are working with these major. Yeah, that's 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 kind of the cool thing is that the campaigns that we have seen and come up with come from these ad agencies that are big monsters. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are the big creative forces. And so they lend their time, they lend their creatives, they lend time and effort and energy and money um, to... Sell war bonds. Yeah. (laughs) To to, to kind of make our world better, which is kind of cool, you know? And then the people, like, there are issues that we care about. And so we appreciate the station for showing us and airing these ads, which are something very uplifting and something Mm -hmm. very... So really, it's, it's... kind of this this cool dynamic that they have like hey we'll get we'll we'll uh air it for free because it actually helps our business yeah so really they aren't like they're they're not really losing anything there because they yeah. and it's it's pretty easy to to kind of notice which ads are the ad council they have a, a pretty recognizable logo it just says mm-hmm. ad council and it's usually in the bottom right hand corner of any ad that's red yeah so you see a billboard look down at the bottom right if it has a little Ad Council watermark that was created by the Ad Council. Um, so I guess the next question is, how do they choose their campaign? I'm not sure. Um, again, there's this magical thing called the internet, <laughs> and you can they have a website again. If you hadn't even mentioned that before, which maybe we'll do an episode about what is a website. Um, and anyway, sorry. Uh, there's some qualifications that need to be that like help it become an Ad Council campaign. Um, the issue should be of sufficient seriousness and public importance to warrant donations of space and time by the media. Importance, okay. So that's be an important issue. The issue must offer a solution through an individual action. Which is interesting to that. Like that's a, that's that one I kind of found interesting that you can't say we all need to come together. So like come and donate, or I guess like that's individual. That one person donates, but the, if you look at the the. Um, some of them that they've done about about littering, like you know, they did the crying Indian, click, click so. it or ticket yeah. kind of stuff. You, like you buy buckle your seatbelt. So it's an individual action. That is interesting. Um, the effort must be uh, must be national in scope, so that the message has relevance to media out media audiences and communities throughout the nation. So it can't be a local thing. It, has to it be can't national. be just the the west or the east. It can't be north south. It can't be. It's got to be our whole world. Mm-hmm. The effort should be such that advertising can help achieve its objectives and those objectives can be measured. So it's not just like, okay, let's just put out a good message or as we've been Smile talking before, more. propaganda. <laughs> um, it's, it's actually got to be measured. It has to be able to move the needle. Yeah. Well, and, and so they can't do one about people should smile more. Yeah. Because there's no way of measuring whether more people smiled or not. I guess you could sit on the street. I mean, if you, if, if you get into like some NSA type stuff where they're like tracking they everyone's face, yeah, then true. maybe you could. Maybe you could maybe do that. Yeah. Um, and the last thing is the issue must be non-commercial, non-denominational, non-partisan, and not be designated to influence legislation. Hmm. So let's keep it civil. But <laughs> not necessarily non-bias because... A lot of these ads are actually very biased. They, yeah, there's a lot of bias they do have a, a certain amount of bias. One but... might call them propaganda. <laughs> They've actually covered topics like forest fires, littering, smoking, buckling up, uh, workplace safety, drunk driving, loose lip sync ships. Which was, that uh, yeah, that's... Uh, there was an artist that redid those in loose tweets, sync ships, um, and texting and driving. And they are making new campaigns like they are constantly every year they do they are doing new ones and currently they're running campaigns about underage drinking and driving teen bullying sexual assault diversity high blood pressure recycling emergency preparedness addiction and reducing food waste are they also doing are they the ones that are doing that fatherhood.gov campaign yeah are they yeah part of that? they're part of that one um about take time to be a father yeah um and we actually covered that uh, last year's Father's Day. Yeah, that's that's right. And there's there's a lot that campaign has been going on. It's one that's I, I've kind of had my eye on. I don't maybe it's because I'm a father now, but congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the Ad Council is a great way for the public to hear about issues at large that relate to them in a professional, creative, and quality way. Because you've got all of these people again who are 
really making them engaging and interesting. And I think that's one of the cool things about the Ad Council mm-hmm. is that um, these are important topics. They are things that need to be talked about. And because this is a you know basically a charity, you're donating. People get a chance to to use their mass creativity in a form that you maybe wouldn't other otherwise. Well, and it's interesting that they easily could have gone through the model of, hey, let's just you know crowdsource this, or let's get volunteers to come in and, and do this. But it seems like they they felt these were important enough issues that they could go out and say, we want you to make this for free. It's an important issue, and we want to make sure it's done right and and portrayed right, and it's noticeable in the right light. And so they created this model which has done a lot of good and created a lot of great messages and uh, probably preserved a lot of ships from sinking. And a lot of forests from firing. A lot of... What does McGruff do? <laughs> He's a crime dog. A lot of crimes from criming? Yes. Criminently. <laughs> True. All right. <laughs> So the CEO uh, is Lisa Sherman, the current CEO. And when she was named CEO in 2014, she did an interview with AdAge and asked why she wanted to take this job. And I liked her response. She said, when you can combine your personal passions with your professional experience, that's a rare opportunity. And it shows how much passion she has for these advertising. She is passionate about advertising. She's passionate about um, ads and marketing and you know, doing this type of work. And so and it shows the passion that the ad council has through the quality of work that they're able to produce and get from all these agencies. Yeah, I, 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 I've always loved seeing ad council. And that was one of the things when, when, uh, when we were coming up, you know, when we were researching scripts and stuff, it was, you know, an ad council ad came up and I was like, oh, I want to learn more about the ad council. There's, I mean, there's always interesting stuff about them. There's always great ads coming out of it. Um, and it's, it's, it's always, you know, something that's really interesting. And but, it, I mean, you would call it propaganda. Yeah, but... FYI. Yeah. Um, and if this happens to reach the ears of the ad council in, in D.C., uh, we would love to come out and and tour. I mean, that, how fun would that be to go and that tour be, the facility? They actually do tours. They, you can actually call up and schedule a tour with them. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't live in D.C., so it's a little harder for us. And um, We'd love to cover more about the Ad Council. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if they, if they, It'd be cool to do a history. It would be cool to you know talk to people and, and kind of get an unique agency, perspectives would, of people who are participating in Ad Council ads. Ad Council... We should do an ad council ad, like about like donate to the ad council, make an ad about the ad council. I know that's so meta. Wow. <laughs> All right. So what uh, what questions do you have? What things did we uh, not cover? What uh, what do you want to know about? What's what's your favorite ad council character? Oh yeah. Or Put that ad. in the comments below. Um, if you liked this episode, you can subscribe and find out about episodes that happen every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, thank you so much for liking, sharing, 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 uh, commenting, and subscribing to our videos. We really appreciate it. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And because it's Wednesday and you need something to kind of get you going, here is an ad for you to watch. Here is my handle, and here is my spell. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip Tip me me over over and pour pour me out. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Cheers. Take time to be a dad today.